Oh, depression. That heavy spirit that stifles all ability to see beyond what and how we feel. I can't see a way out. I feel exhausted, demotivated as it locks onto our senses. Is depression a passing thought or a condition or a state of mind? Depression starts as a parasite, but soon becomes a virus. It starts with projections of anger, of confusion, of panic, of fear. But unchecked, it gradually promotes itself in our behavior. One starts losing the passion, the smile, the hope, the energy wither away. Soon this alien guest in our minds numbs the feeling of life as we lose the will to fight, to fight back for our mental health. Sometimes we manage the symptoms. We hide what's going on in our minds from even our closest loved ones. Are you okay? Oh yes, everything is fine. We hide the roots. We suffer in silence. Now, there is no art to find the mind's construction in the face, Shakespeare said, because what defiles a man or a woman is not in our lips, but it's in our hearts, in our minds. As our hope gives way to depression, will depression give way to hope? Hope, that positive feeling about tomorrow? Faith, what you do with that positive feeling about tomorrow? Hold on to your hope. Our society slowly eradicates optimism, creating the perfect breeding ground for depression. Money can temporarily buy one happiness, but pessimism sells us off, leaves us dissatisfied. Helping others, pursuing a just cause, getting up and carrying on, speaking up, these are all actions, actions of faith. We cannot love our neighbor more or less than how we love ourselves. Loving more will leave you empty. Loving less will leave you lonely. No one can fix someone else's depression if one isn't willing to fix oneself. My will is my hope. So we make a decision to keep trying and trying and trying. We decide we won't give up on trying even when our instincts beg us to quit. We keep pressing forward for the prize. We've heard the battle is in your mind, but truly the battle is for your mind. The wheel of depression leaves us unable to separate fact from fiction, hope from despair, opportunity from failure. Where one person sees an opportunity, depression sees the end of all opportunities. Name the root of your depression. Know what it is that drives it. Take control of your mind. Subdue it. Rule over it. It's yours. Own your mind. Thank you.